brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Admiral Shoshana Chatfield says military and civilian agencies have been working for years to save the declining tree even taking steps to protect its saplings from foraging by wild pig and deer to preserve what's become an endangered species. But the new attention on the fire tree has also sparked renewed calls by activist groups and senators for a pause on all construction at the site of the live fire training range. Any time we encounter something that looks like it is of historic significance, that there is an immediate pause that these procedures which have been uh, previously outlined and agreed, we go through those procedures. And um, we have been fortunate that very um, smart and very dedicated professionals uh, really took a look at what was known to be there and designed the ranges to contact as few of those sites as possible. Northwest Field was chosen after public outcry about the initial site in Paget. It forced the military to withdraw inside their gates, but activists have opposed the current location as well, citing its environmental and cultural value. Can you imagine a scenario where a firing range will not be built on that Northwest Field site? Uh, I can tell you that the live fire training range complex is an integral and necessary part of the Marine Corps buildup. Uh, bringing 5,000 Marines here to train is an important step. It's an agreed step between the government of the United States of America and the government of Japan. And it signifies our commitment to peace and security in the Pacific. The Admiral said she can't stress enough how important it is that the Marines have the right training environment. The range might well be the most critical component. Every Marine is a rifleman. Every Marine, even a lawyer in the United States Marine Corps, is first a rifleman. And when you have that heavy task of being America's 911 force, of having to be trained and ready to go at a moment's notice, that individual skill, that military profession of arms, being comfortable, not reacting to the sound uh, of fire, but being focused on mission and trusting the Marine next to you. That's what's going to win our nation's conflicts. In fact, a former Marine commandant told the Senate last year, if the Marines can't train, there's no reason to be here. What if there's no firing range? Having those Marines here trained and ready is imperative. They absolutely need to be able to train to be here. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.